All right, welcome to my channel. So my name's Troy, and in today's video, we're gonna be upgrading my wireless system. So let's start with a bit of background on why I'm doing this. So about 12 months ago, we moved into a brand new place out in the suburbs. So we we're originally living um, you know, in a, an apartment townhouse, which was in a city. And um, yeah, we decided we needed more space, so we needed to move. So long story short, we moved here, and I set up the same motive that we had been using uh, in our old house. And it worked well in our old house because the place where it sort of sat was quite central to everything. So, you know, lounge room, bedrooms, uh, everything was covered. Whereas the layout of this new house is, the study is where all the network communications come in and it's quite close to the lounge room. So when we're sitting in the lounge room uh, or I'm in the study, you know, working or whatever I'm doing, the signal's good. But as soon as we move to the bedrooms or the garage, it's where things turn to shit a little bit. I've been putting it off for a long time, but I finally decided I need to do something about it. So how are we gonna fix it? So I picked up two new access points. I went with the Ubiquiti uh, U6 lights. So they're a Wi-Fi 6 access point and they're powered by PoE. So the plan is to install these two things uh, and get it up and running. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug these two in. So I've set up a switch um, right here so that I can do that. So I'll go ahead and do that now. There's one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the, the app and you can see it's picked up the two access points. So next I will go ahead and continue a standalone. No, I need to QR code the the device, connect to AP, join. So we're just joining. I'll do the second one now, which is this one. All right, so now it's asking me to create a Wi-Fi network. So I'll do that. All right, so now it's adding the access point. That's good, that is what we want. Cool, finishing up, preparing access point. Just wait for this to finish up. 30 seconds left. All right, now the easy part's done. We're going to connect these two access points up to the Unify controller. Originally I said I wasn't gonna use the controller and I was just gonna set them up on the app. I then later realized that the limitation with the app is I can't have multiple um, SSIDs with different VLANs, so I need the controller for that. So we're gonna jump onto the computer. I'm gonna set up a uh, Ubuntu server and then we're gonna install uh, Unify network controller and get these APs registered. So let's get started. All right, so I've already downloaded the Ubuntu server um, ISO. So we're gonna right click here and say create machine, create a new virtual machine. We're gonna call it Unify Controller. Guest OS is Linux. Ubuntu. Next, so I'll choose my NVMe storage. Uh, these specs should be fine. Might give this less actually. Network adapter we want internal, and then we'll go data store ISO file. Select, next, finish. All right, let's just power this on. install it. Wait for this to finish up. All right, so what language? We're gonna go with English. I'm gonna update to the new installer. Wait for this to download. Should be pretty fast. OK, 
keep that as a default. Run to server. Yep, that's fine. No proxy address. Pass the mirror tests. Okay. Yep, use the entire disk. That's fine. Done. It's a bit of a summary. Done. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, my name can be Unify Admin. The server's name could be Unify Controller. Unify Admin. Password, I'll put my own password in. Done. Uh, we don't need to upgrade the Pro to skip for now. Yes, I want to install that. Done. All right, so we've just installed the Ubuntu OS. Now we need to SSH into the box and install the Unify controller. SSH Unify admin at password. Cool. All right, so we're in here. So you don't have to update. Cool. I'll install some prerequisites. Yep. So now we need to tell the box that we can trust the unified packages and add that repo to the server. Cool. So we'll install lib SSL. Done. Hit the install. So next we need to do MongoDB. Done. Let's do the install for Mongo. Pseudo update. Pseudo CTL enable. Oh my god, cool. I'll get started. Easy. Pseudo app install unifier. Done. All right, so now we should be able to go into the web browser and log on to this web portal. So let's try to do that. All right, so I've just loaded up the web portal. Let's start by naming it, Unify Controller. Uh, it's like the country. I agree. All right, so We've loaded up the Unify controller page. Um, let's see if we can see the access points. Yep, so I can see my two access points, but because I've set them up as standalone, it's not gonna let me adopt them here. So we do have a way around that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna SSH into these access points. So start with the first one. We'll go SSH admin at uh, 192.168.0.10. Password, chuck that in. All right, then what we're gonna do is sys wrapper sh restore default. Clearing, that's good.
and this is still going. Let's see if this has changed or not. Oh, still showing up. All right, so that's come back up now. So if we do a fresh of the controller, perfect. So click tool dot for both. So let's go through that process. Adopting U6 Lite, getting ready. Let's do the second. Cool, up to date, and this one should be up to date as well. All right, so let's create a network now. We'll call it Like both. Don't want that band on. Okay, two, three. And Wi Fi network. So we'll change the band, the width to 80 and apply changes. All right, so I'm gonna end the video there. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.